Hi, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our new Families uh, Evening presentation event. Um, I'm Jo Tibbury. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Copley Academy, uh, and I'll be talking you through some of the key things that you need to know for your child's first day at Copley, but also over the next 12 months from when they join us in September. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to hand over to Mrs. Craven, our Academy who wants to talk to you a little bit about our school vision and our values. So I'll hand over to Mrs. Craven. Welcome to Copley Academy, everybody. It's been fantastic over the last couple of weeks. I've been able to see as many year six students going into year seven as we can. And it's been absolutely lovely. Um, it's really good to see you, really excited about starting in September. And I really am looking, to, uh, looking forward to meeting every one of you. At Copley Academy, um, we all here at Copley Academy want you to be really proud of your child's achievements and also we want the students to be really proud of their academy. It is really important that your students, your, sorry, your children are happy and safe uh, because that is when they actually learn at their best and it really is important that we have a really good set of uh, values um, and also a good set of aims, what we hope to achieve, your child will actually achieve by the end when they actually leave Copley Academy at the end of year 11. Our aims or our intent at Copley is to provide every student, irrespective of their starting point of what they've learnt before, a fully inclusive, broad, balanced and ambitious curriculum that will enable them to continue their learning journey post 16 on, onwards. It's really important that our students have a curriculum that's relevant, that they enjoy, that they find really engaging, but it's also about our students building that confidence that they need, the independent learning skills, and that resilience and creativity to go on to be absolute fantastic learners in the future, and for them to be able to achieve the actual absolute best that they can. We continue to um, absolutely develop our approaches to teaching and learning at Copley and we continuously have the training that our teachers need to be able to keep up to date with our new techniques so that we can personalise the learning for every student to ensure that our, our learning is relevant and highly educational. We really do care for our students here and we make sure that they're supported and they're challenged so that they can achieve their absolute maximum potential. We want students to have a feeling of self-worth and ambition. We deliver a great values led curriculum because at the end of year 11, yes, grades are important. Yes, it is important that students actually achieve the highest grades that they can, but it's also about the students having a fantastic character for them to be confident, independent, so they can be successful leaders in the communities that they serve. We have a set of values here at Copley Academy, and these are our trust values. And we expect every student to be great. We expect them to be genuine, honest, trustworthy, respectful to everybody, colleagues, staff, other students, we expect them to actually excel in everything that they do and really make the best effort that they can. We expect them to achieve, so be focused. Okay, and it's not just about the academic excellence, but it's also achievement in every sense of the word and have high aspirations. And we expect us all to do that together. And that's really a real important key message is together because actually it's about the students, it's about their families, carers, and it's about the staff at Copley Academy all working together so that the students can become the best versions of themselves. I'm really excited about September and I'm really looking for the students starting. I think there's some really big key messages in this presentation that's going to be important for you to know and uh, I wish you a safe summer and take care of yourselves. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Craven, um, and I will be revisiting these key points in due course. But I think first and foremost, we need to get um, to our key messages for your child's first day with us at Copley Academy. Um, and it's important that your child has arrived on our school building no later than 8.30, ready for a prompt start, as we'll have all our students in the, dine, in the main hall ready for an assembly 
in which we will give them their school tie because we are changing systems this year. We're going to have a specific tie for each year group as part of that, creating that sense of identity, sense of belonging and sense of community. Students can arrive from eight o'clock and they can do that on any given morning. As in the dining room, we've got a wide range of breakfast options available. Um, the key message is obviously therefore to arrive no later than 8.30 each and every single day, ready for an 8.40 start. Uh, it's important that aside from the tie, that your child arrives in their brand new Copley Academy uniform. We've got uh, information about our suppliers, about expectations uh, surrounding the uniform on pages three to six of the transition uh, parent guide that we have sent you, uh, which hopefully your child has received via their primary. Uh, but I will return to uniform later in this presentation. It's important, therefore, that they, um, if there are any issues surrounding uniform, that you contact us on the first day and any subsequent day around in where any issues connected to uniform. We are a mobile phone free school, therefore no student at any point in time should ever have their mobile actively on and be actively using it during the course of the school day. Mobile phones need to be switched off um, and placed in the bottom of bags. We do have a system of uh, confiscating mobiles, which again, I will return to later on. So it's important phones are switched off and kept in bags. And we strongly suggest that all students have a good, strong, sturdy bag with two um, both shoulders, because although we do have lockers in school, they may have to carry uh, equipment around for part of the school day. Um, inside that sturdy bag that they've got for day number one, please also ensure that they have got a pencil case which contains a black blue pen, a green pen, rubber, ruler, highlighters and pencils. And we also recommend that students will benefit from having crayons and a calculator. Um, on pages three to six, as I've already mentioned, you will find information about using parent pay as parent pay is how you can put money onto your child's account so that they can buy food, not just at breakfast, but at break and at lunch times as well. And I think this key message is more important than anything else, that yes, it is a nerve wracking day for probably both for you and your child, but it's important that if you have got any nerves, you stay as positive as possible for your child and not to project any worries or concerns onto them. Please contact us if you have got any worries because we want their starting point at Copley Academy to be a happy and exciting time for each and every one of our students that is going to join us in September. So as Mrs Craven's already mentioned, we've done lots of work surrounding transition already. Myself and Mrs Craven have been out to visit primary schools. We've dropped off the transition packs. We've done uh, some pre-transition activities with selected groups of students. We've been doing tours of the school. There's been lots and lots going on. And this is going to continue into September. That year sevens to start with, we'll have additional use of the dining room to help them adjust to using our facilities timing of the school day. They're also going to have split breaks and lunch times compared to years 9, 10 and 11. So they will have access to these facilities with a other year group. When we do introduce homework for our year sevens, we're going to have a staggered implementation. So they are not going to be bombarded with uh, homework all at the same time all in one go to help them to adjust to routines and good practices when it comes to doing homework tasks. We're also going to provide them with a map of the school building to help them locate their way around the school. We are we're obviously as staff members and other students will be on hand to, to support them with their movement and we anticipate they may be late for the first week or so as they're navigating themselves around school and their teachers will take that into consideration. We've also got planned for them to come into school on Thursday, the 2nd of September, which is the day before the years eight, 
and TENS, help them get settled in. Uh, we've also got a bespoke tutor and Great Lives programme. Our Great Lives programme is our PSHE curriculum at Copley, which is bespoke and unique to us and will provide additional adjustments to help support our year seven students into transition, such as the fact that year seven or the new year seven will have a year eight peer mentor, as well as hopefully subject to COVID restrictions, we'll also have a settling in event around year sevens and their families. So we've got lots in the way of helping to prepare our students for the adjustment of secondary school. And again, there'll be lots of information, further information in the packs that you have been sent home. Uh, but the key element is to understand, obviously, not just for day one, but beyond how the school day will look, which obviously you can see how the school now is broken down onto um, the PowerPoint in front of you. And as you've already mentioned, the key starting point is to know that students should be in form, ready for a prompt start at eight which is why we recommend everyone be on site for 8.30. Then the other key time to know is that students will finish the day at 2.50 p.m. This might seem uh, quite an school day, but we do this for two reasons. Uh, the positive aspect is that we've got an extensive range of extracurricular activities that go on after school, and they are published half-termly on our school website. A second reason is we also have detentions after school as well. And this means that both when detentions and uh, the extracurricular activities finish, we've got uh, a time that is still going to be relatively light, even in the winter months, to allow students to safely make their way home after either an extracurricular or uh, activity or detention. Not that anyone will get any detention uh, when they're in year seven. So obviously another key element that I've mentioned already is regarding our school uniform. We have got three main suppliers, MCS, Top Marks and Debonair, um, and further details of them can be found on our school website and in the parent handbook that we've sent home. But our school uniform is really important, not for just encouraging individuals to take a sense of pride in themselves as well, but also to take a sense of pride in our academy. Because one question that we often get asked, well, what does um, appearance or uniform have to do with a child's education? Well, it comes back to the school values that Mrs Craven was speaking about, that we are trying to ensure that our students are post 16 and ready and ready for the world of work. And they will encounter, whether it be a part time job, or the job that links to their career, there'll be exerting surrounding their appearance and their professionalism, which we believe comes through having a strong sense of uniform and identity, as well as a safe and secure uh, environment in which all students feel they are not being judged based on their appearances, but also as well in more practical subjects, such as um, psychology, PE, science, that a particular type of appearance um, is only su not su just suitable, but also pragmatic. And this all encompasses part of our reward led system of behaviour management, which we refer to as our great expectations. Our great expectations give students the opportunity to have a clear understanding of what we define as the correct behaviour and the incorrect behaviour so that they get given the choice and the chance to make the necessary adjustments to their behaviours so that we can reward our students rather than have to give out sanctions. And as the support of our students, families and parents is crucial for maintaining this positive response and this applies to not just the academic side of students lives of what goes on inside the classroom but also as well other elements from their conduct around the academy their conduct to and from school as well as attendance as attendance to school underpins all that we do and the high expectations that we have of our students and our families to build these fundamental characteristics that are going to lead to 
achievement and success, not just whilst our students are at Cockley Academy, but beyond that as well. So therefore, uh, we do not grant permission for holidays during term time and attendance more than ever is going to be crucial given the circumstances that we've been encountering of the last 12 um, plus months given the disruptions that students have had to their education. The graph in front of you will demonstrate the importance of each and every one of our students coming in school because if I was to say you would achieve 90% on an exam that would sound very impressive however if a child has got an attendance of 90% it miss, means they have missed 19 school days due to absence and that is a massive chunk of their learning that they are missing and subsequently um, and this has a huge impact of what they can go on and achieve at GCSE. If you see students who have got a 90% attendance, they only have a 44.6% chance of gaining the best GCSEs, whereas students with 93% and above have a 74% chance of gaining the best GCSEs. So it is really important as part of our great expectations that our students do every single day and more information about our attendance policies and expectations can be uh, found on page six and seven of the parent handbook that we have sent out. So obviously there's lots of new faces for your child to get to know when they join us in September. Um, obviously myself and Mrs Craven are two familiar members of staff now. But there are three very important student uh, faces that your children need to know. The first is their form tutor and we've allocated your student child into a form already which is either C, P, L, E, Y which is connected to a colour to help your child to remember it. But also as well we've got two other was apart from your child's form tutor who again obviously I'll stress we will let them know who their form tutor is by name before they start with us but the other two people are what we call a learning pastoral support mentor which is a pastoral manager for the year group who is going to be Mrs Wilde and then the head of P stage three who is Miss Farrelly and I'm going to hand over to Miss Farrelly so she can introduce herself and explain a little bit about the role of the head of Key Stage 3 and the pastoral manager. Thanks, Miss. Hi, everyone. I'm head of Key Stage 3 here at Copley Academy. I have got a really important role in making sure that you have the most smooth transition to life here at the Academy. And it's really important that you know that there are people who are going to be here throughout your time at Copley Academy that want to make sure that everything that comes in your way, you've got some support with and you've got somebody to turn to. So what we want as an academy is to make sure that you have a really strong, positive and successful learning experience. There are going to be some ups and downs as at the moment, you can see we've got quite a lot of uncertainty, but coming in September, we're all you are get that success and any barriers that you've got to your learning that we make sure that we move out of your way. I like to think of our key stage as being like a big family. And what's really important about that family is that we all share our great values. And it's really important that we all strive to have those great values in everything that we do when we're at Copley Academy. Our motto at Key Stage 3 is that we are stronger together, again, just like a family. And we can achieve success together and through our learning because what I want you to be is the best that you can be. And that's in your learning. And that's in you becoming 
a better person every single day. So it's about being the whole person. And I know Miss Tidbury and Mrs. Craven have spoken a lot about the great values and all of the things that underpin really the great opportunities that we you are going to have here at Copley. Now, I can't do that all on my own. I've got Mrs. Wild, who is the LPSO, so Learning and Pastoral Support Officer for your year group. And what she's going to do is she is going to be on the ground for you to be able to go to with any issues that you have. We are going to have some little ups and downs. You might get a little bit lost. It is going to be a time of going from your primary school into somewhere new, meeting new friends. And we are going to be here and Miss is going to be here to make sure that we, we get rid of any issues that you have. At the bottom, we've put our email addresses on. So if parents would like to contact us, if they have any issues, um, we are here to help. And I must say, I'm incredibly excited to meet you all properly in September, as I would usually be coming around to see you all in the primary schools. And unfortunately, I haven't this year. So really looking forward to seeing you. And I would like to hand back to Miss Tidbury. Thank you very much, Miss. So final key messages then is um, another key member of staff who you would have heard from is Mr Heatley, who is the deputy principal. And Mr Heatley has put together our summer school programme, which is between the 16th to the 27th of August. And we've got a wide range of different activities. And I know when I last spoke to Sir, um, he already thinks that 90 of our students have signed up for this uh, two-week programme, which is brilliant. So if you've not yet uh, been able to join up, please contact Mr Heatley as soon as possible. Um, it's not only going to be a great opportunity for students to meet staff members, other members of their tutor group, it's also going to provide enrichment and activities that they potentially would have missed over the last 12 months um, due to COVID-19. Um, we will keep in close communication with you between now and September. Um, obviously, as I've already mentioned, we'll let you know who your child's form tutor is. But should you have any other queries or questions you've obviously got now, um, Miss Farrelly and Miss Wild contact details. We've also got our general uh, school email that you can use. Um, please ensure as well that from your end, any information that we sent where we need you to fill in mission forms such as use of image or data that they are returned um, as quickly as possible and thank you to uh, already done that please keep looking at our social media for further updates about the academy along with our school website we have got a section under um, parents for transition where you will find a copy of this uh, presentation, the PowerPoint and all the other information that has gone out um, to our year sixes and their families. Um, and this is something we are really keen to keep going as the year progresses. We'll make sure that you have got up-to-date information about your child's progress, details about consultation evening um, during the course of year seven. And similarly, please always come back and have a look at our website where you can find the most up to date letters um, and newsletters about what is going on in the academy. So final key messages from me. Um, successful transition isn't just about the child and the school working together as families and parents. You can also play a key role in this, as I know many of um, our families have not ever had a child go into secondary school before. And if you go to page 14 of our transition guide, you will see further information. You can be doing as a parent to help support your child. Because one of the key pieces of advice that I can give to you is that your child comes September may be dressed in their beautiful Smart Copley Academy uniform, but many of them will still be primary school in terms of how they approach things, particularly because they have missed so much of year five and six over the last few, uh, last 12 months plus. So it's about getting that healthy balance right in terms of supporting your child and, and getting them organised, 
getting them to be independent, um, by encouraging them to be in routines and giving them that responsibility to be a young adult, but by also recognising at the same time that um, as much as you need to be listening and being supportive of your child and meet, meet them midway, that you are here to be the parent and not the friend. And it comes back to that key message of what I was saying at the start. They may look suddenly grown up in their secondary school uniform, but they're still very much children. And sometimes as um, the adults, we need to guide and steer them in the right direction and making sure that it's clear that there will be sanctions and consequences to what they do if they make the wrong choice but also educating our children as staff and as families about if something has gone wrong, where it's gone wrong, why it's gone wrong and what they can do differently to ensure that they earn back any privileges that might have been removed. Mobile devices, mobile phones are always good ones to use there um, about how to earn those things back and avoid them being confiscated again because it's so important that we work as a partnership to ensure that your child, as Mrs uh, Craven has said, as Miss um, Farrelly has said, that your child not only gets the best possible education and achieves academically, but becomes a well-rounded person that we want each and every one of our children to be by the time they leave Hockley Academy at the age of 16. We are here to ensure that our students um, achieve both on an academic level and on a personal one as well. So, as I've mentioned already, if there is anything else, please do get to us. We look forward to working with you. We look forward to um, your students or your children coming through our doors either in the summer or in September. And we wish you a safe, happy, and restful summer. Take care and speak to you all soon. Bye bye.